you guys remember our E70, it's E70 XLM and I had a very squeaky ear brakes issue, uh, I mentioned about this in one of my videos. So I decided to swap brake pads and I bought TRW Ultra. And also I'm thinking to change our airbags. I already bought them and only one side is leaking. I know that and this one is fine. Double maintenance technically because on E70s uh, airbags or air suspension bags are part of the maintenance process. It's kind of expensive but it is what it is. <laughs> and also I decided to change in-cabin air filter. E70 has several air filters and one of them is in-cabin so yeah, this one is located under the food well on the passenger side and you have to remove this cover over here to get to it. Filter comes with handy instructions, so I'm not gonna bore you guys how to do it. It's super simple. You just need a screwdriver and new filter, yep. I bought original airbags for the 70. number I think they are identical just wanted to show you guys that my rear pads are still good they just make this very annoying squeaky sound so this is the old one and this is the new one there's still a lot of life left on these pads but man this noise I just cannot stand it anymore so I'm just gonna replace them and these were uh, let's take a look yeah that was page ID uh, pads so to release the old airbags I removed all these panels from the passenger side uh, probably could have uh, just gotten away with removing only the front one but anyway so this is the uh, main uh, connector to the air compressor for air suspension. So I disconnected it and also I released, let me see if you can see it from here. Yeah, so I started with a driver's side. I unscrewed it, let air out, and now I'm ready to pull out my old airbag. And here it is. I just removed it. So what I need to do, I need to use 10 millimeter to unscrew this nut over here disconnect airline it's pretty easy it's just a lot of plastics to remove like technically on everything uh, you do on BMWs but the mechanical part of this is pretty simple just removed passenger side airbag and now I can see why my car was always doing this I see several small cracks on this airbag and you can see it started deteriorating like you can see threads coming out so yeah definitely need to be replaced and on my car it was leaking only on passenger side but it's recommended to do two of these guys at the same time so that's what i did and i just reconnected the airlines so let me just connect wires back let's see if it's gonna start pumping here so the wheel is back on let's wake up the car okay, the airbag is taking its place one eternity later works works great and we can see that airbag is settled that white plastic uh, thing got in its place so yeah now I have to put back all of these covers and technically I'm done and I just finished installing brake pads and air suspension bags and let me just do a test of these pads if they are gonna squeak let me just 
just a little squeak but not like it used to be and also I'm going to do backup test too because my most squeaking noise was when I was backing up so let me just find a place and I'm going to do that okay one more test going forward yeah just a little bit of squeaking but not as it used to be so I can live with this but probably just because it's new brake pads and right now I'm going to do reverse braking backing up test for my brand new pads that I just installed yesterday let's see man this is so weird this is like yeah so they technically so these brake pads so this car just makes these weird noises and now they don't squeak I guess <laughs> some kind of conspiracy theory going on with uh, E70 X5 and squeaking noise yeah so you guys can see it's a very weird situation at least in my case because uh, these brakes they just live their own life and uh, they squeak uh, whenever they decide to doesn't matter if I have brand new pads yeah it's just weird so i would like to thank everybody who contributed to the original post where i complained about this and um, uh, thank you for your time guys uh, as you can see this is a really weird situation with these brakes like right now this quick going forward so yeah i just don't know what to do i'm just gonna leave with this it's annoying but the car works fine and yeah i'm just gonna leave with this so it's one of those things that <laughs> we have to deal with it so yeah i hope you guys have a good time and uh, i'll see you on the next one